we're just gonna sit up right here. Got Diana coming in.
I, I gotta go. That's why I wanted to make that call. Association, um, Captain Carl, uh, with uh, Montauk Marine. Montauk Marine. We've got the Montauk Boatman and Captain's Association, Montauk Boatman's Inc. is uh, our president. We have some good president, and Captain Jack Passy. Orla with the Viking Fleet out here from Montauk today. We have all our first district uh, uh, representatives from the Michigan community. Also on my left, Captain Joe McBride with uh, my main charters in the uh, Montauk. Captain Joe, Joe McBride with the Montauk Boatman's Incorporated, and also Phil Curcio. We're here with one very special message today. The fishing community is uh, calling out our support for Randy Altshuler in this first district uh, legislative race for a member of Congress. We're very happy to be out here today. Uh, the fact of the matter is, when you take a look at the problems in our, uh, in our country at this point, we have a congressional approval rating that's below 15%. We need a change. Folks are tired of gridlock, they're tired of folks who are spending half the time campaigning, half the time not really pushing the issues that need to be pushed. As far as our recreational fishing community, especially the charter boat associations, the, uh, the tackle shops, as represented by NIFTA, the Recreational Fishing Alliance, and our industry and our individual anglers, they want change in Washington. We want to get somebody down there who's got a youthful approach, somebody who's willing to listen, somebody who's willing to make the hard decisions and change the way things are in Washington, D.C. That's why we're all proud to be out here today to support Randy Altshuler in this November's race for the 1st District out here at the east end of Long Island. Randy, we appreciate you being out here. We're looking forward to great things in the next couple of years. So thank you very much. Thank you. I want to thank everyone for coming out this morning and for the tremendous support from the Recreational Fishing Alliance, Nantai Boat, and the Captain's Association. Clearly this is a critical industry for Long Island. It's a critical industry for the first congressional district. And a lot of this goes back to an issue that we're going to talk about on and on in my campaign, and that's about jobs. Uh, since Congressman Bishop has been in office, 30,000 jobs have been lost. And some of those jobs, unfortunately, have been in the fishing industry. And we're not talking about, we're talking about fishermen, we're talking about boat owners, marina owners, folks in the, the big tackle shops, the tourism industry that depends on it. This is part of our economy and of our heritage and our culture. And I look forward to going to Washington and being a strong advocate for the fishing industry, standing up for all the men and women whose livelihoods depend on that, standing up for science-based reform of the Magnuson Act, for holding NOAA accountable, for making sure that fishing industry represents over 300 businesses in the marine district.
not only important to me, but it's important to finally get some recognition of what will be the federal level of the issue. You know, it's very, very easy to uh, talk the talk, but as I said before, we have walks the walk. It's been here multiple times, probably in excess of 12 times, and many of those times addressing the issues of the fishermen. It's not just important from a recreational and commercial side, it's important because it's indigenous industry to the East End. And from a cultural point of view, the retention of fishing and the viability of fishing, not just for this generation, but for future generations, will keep the East End a special place that it is. So I thank you for paying attention to it. I thank you for calling it one of your top priorities. You can do that, you can do that obviously by being. would like to learn more, I put out a 10 point job plan on my website, uh, www.randy2012.com, and one of those points addresses the needs of the fishing industry, which is so critical to our economy here, to our culture, as, as Bill talked about being indigenous here, uh, and to our overall state of the country. So we thank you so much for coming out, and hope everybody has a great day. Thank you. Could you all line up because uh, she'd like to take a nice picture? You really need to get closer in. Thank you. Randy, thanks. Randy. Randy, you come up front. You guys kind of come Jim, you can get right up there next to Randy. Come on. There you go. Close, close, yeah, close. just kind of go that way. be great. Mr. Supervisor, you also should be here. I'm pointing my finger at you, Bill. <laughs> I know how much you like that. Stop pointing. I know how much you like that. There you go. There you go. Perfect. All right. Did you have
on, Gussie. Come on, boy. Gus. Yeah. <laughs> 